on Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Well, a pretty quiet day out there overall. Good to see some moisture back in our uh, forecast, at least for the last couple of days. A lot of the fire crews out there trying to get control of some uh, pretty impressive uh, fire totals in terms of acreage, including the Douglas Complex, which is a complex of about three or four different fires, maybe adding more to that by tomorrow. So they shift gears a bit with the teams uh, down in southern Douglas County around Glendale. Still very smoky conditions across most of southern Douglas County. That is not going to improve as we head towards tomorrow. Uh, folks living anywhere east, of where that main complex is, we are going to see a fairly general west northwesterly wind for at least the next couple of days. So, do expect to see those real smoky conditions, not real good air quality. Browns Creek fire up towards Lapine, one of the newer ones we have, the whiskey complex as well. And then to the south, down towards Grand Pass, uh, both the uh, Brimstone and Labrador fire. So, you can see it's all kind of centered around in towards the southern end of the state so far. Nothing in across much of the Willamette National Forest and the uh, Lane County Cascades, but now we still have red flag warnings that have been posted. They kick in tonight at midnight all the way through Thursday evening at 11 o'clock. You say, why is that? Well, National Weather Service is anticipating with that low sitting off of the coastline to come swinging through. It is likely going to produce a chance for some thunderstorms. And what we call, or if you happen to be reading some of it, you say, well, it's a dry thunderstorm. We're talking about that. And that's generally the ones where it initially, and I think that's what we'll see for tomorrow afternoon at first before we kind of you know, get a little more moisture down to the closer part of the surface here is it's lightning will hit the ground, but the rain doesn't. And so they can just kind of fire across as they move, move over the landscape. And that's, I think, what we'll likely see for tomorrow afternoon and evening. So the low is still offshore, but that is slowly going to shift inland. Winds out of the southwest. We've got moisture coming in. We'll have some instability created by the sun kind of moving the air around. And that and the triggering mechanism, which is the low itself, sort of the linchpin, is probably going to get things uh, rather active tomorrow afternoon. Across the state today, cooler, but still some 90s out there from the downs all the way down towards Ontario, just under that in Medford, 85 in Roseburg, 84 here in Eugene. Coolers get up towards Corvallis, still sitting at 81 degrees right now. Uh, M's getting ready to uh, take on their game tonight at PK. They are at 82 right now. We'll see upper 70s by uh, first pitch. And around 83 as you get out towards Ben. So wider snapshot. Here's where the low is now. Let's take it through the next couple of days. The thunder threat will likely be up into the Cascades and that includes the southern Cascades and foothills by Wednesday as it starts to approach the coast. By Thursday that shifts inland. The thunderstorm threat will shift further south and east. Now Wednesday night into Thursday. Any thunderstorms that do develop we may may see a chance for some of those to try to slide their way westward back down into the valley. Right now, the computer models are showing, and I think we got a good shot to at least see some early morning showers on Thursday. But that should be about it. We'll likely dry off again as we head to the weekend. High pressure starts to move back in. And as you can see along the coast, that'll take care of some of that marine layer in the afternoon as well. So overall, temperatures will stay in the mid to low 60s out towards the uh, coastline. Inland, warm again tomorrow in the mid 80s, but not hot just yet. And then cooler with the thunderstorm potential on Wednesday and Thursday for the Umpqua. And then we're back into the low 90s and it's hot and dry as we get ready to welcome in August next week. In the Cascades, we'll see a thunderstorm threat for tomorrow and Thursday. Bend and Redmond, same story. Temperatures in the mid 80s. I do think we could get some strong thunderstorms. So that means not only gusty winds, but some hail as well. And then drier as we head to the weekend. And finally for the valley, we'll see mostly sunny skies tomorrow, guys. Again, morning clouds, some afternoon sun, Thursday cooler and Friday because the low's moving overhead. And that's where we could see the thunderstorm potential. Again, I think a lot of it will stay in the mountains. We'll have to watch late night when they kind of die off. They just sort of drift their way back down the mountains right into the valley. All right. All right. Popular attraction.